Hello and a warm welcome back to the channel and here we are up at the test track. Apologies for the noise in the background, it is quite blustery today. So in front of me is my five pole modified brush type 2 bogey. Now I'm just running this in to bed the brushes in so I'll just start it on the rolling road. Now unfortunately there is a slight oscillation on one of the wheels I haven't got time to attend to that, but apart from that, it's running pretty smooth. I think you'll agree with me. Now, I didn't video the whole process, but I took a few stills, a little bit of footage of turning the interference fit extension piece bush, which I'll show you now. And also a couple of photos of comparison with the original armature, how it looks once I start assembling it, getting the bearings and the worms on. So things are going smoothly up until now. I get the whole thing back together, a little bit of lubrication on it, put it on the rolling road, huge amount of current draw, nothing. So a bit of initial panic, I'm thinking, gosh, have I damaged the windings on the armature, made a silly mistake, so a cup of tea and a bit of a check over, couldn't really see any problems, and then that moment of realisation, when you realise you've made a fundamental mistake and something new has come into the equation which needs curing. Now I wonder if you know what it is. Well let me show you anyway. So here we have our old friend the X04. Now of course it was the Airfix version of this that I used as the donor for the armature. So as you can see you've got the brushes hanging down from the top and your pole pieces top and bottom. Yeah, I think you've probably got it by now. <laughs> Looking at this bogey, we've got the brushes, sure enough, hanging down from the top, but here comes the problem. The pole pieces are not at the top and the bottom, they're at the sides. Now I hadn't taken this into consideration, so of course the armature that I want to use is 90 degrees out on the timing and that's why it's not running. When the current's passing through the brushes into the windings they're at the wrong angle to the magnets so all I'm doing is drawing current and not causing any motion. So I had a little think about it, I thought I'm a long way round with this conversion, I'd better carry on, it'd be a shame to give up so there's only one answer really, I've got to add advance or retard, whichever, I don't think it'd make any difference, but I've got to change the timing on this armature by 90 degrees to bring the current from the brushes in line with the magnetic force from the pole pieces so we get a nice smooth rotation. So I had to think about it and there's only one thing you can do really, you've got to undo the wires. Now because it's five pole I thought I'm going to take a reference point at the top. So I looked round the armature and I found that one segment lined up exactly with one of the cores on the armature. So I took that as my reference and I thought I'm just going to rotate 90 degrees. Now two problems really. Firstly the wires aren't long enough just to unsolder them and move them round and secondly when you do rotate 90 degrees the segments of the commentator aren't exactly in the right place for my 90 degree start. So I took the ball by the horns 
unsolder the wires, mark them, and then just very carefully grip the commutator and I had to rotate it about 10 to 15 degrees to line up my first initial segment. Okay, so I got that done and then I started the fiddly job of extending a couple of the wires. Some of the wires just went round far enough just to go down onto the required commutator piece. A couple had to be extended. Now I've taken a photograph of my soldering, it's not the neatest, but you can see how the armature looked after I did the timing adjustment. OK, so put it all back together and hey presto, we have a nice smooth running five pole bogey. But I think if I'd have known that I was going to be battling the timing issue, I might have not even started doing this. But never mind, it's worth it now I've got it done. So what I'll do now, because I've talked quite long enough about this, is I will get this back into the loco body. And then we'll pull a few freight wagons round and I'll show you how nicely this five pole conversion works. OK, well, the brush is back together and on the test layout. And I've just noticed it's got a different head code to my other one. My other one is 9D80 and this is 4C01. So there'll be no problem identifying the five pole one from the other one when they're on the layout together. Anyway, let's back up and get hold of these freight wagons. Whoops, bit of driver error there. Moving away quite slowly. A lot of torque, definitely very smooth. Notice there is unfortunately a glazing unit missing from that end of the loco that's in shot now and there are some marks on the roof someone's handled it with either thinners or glue on their fingers but apart from that the actual bodywork is in good shape and there is no doubt now this is a fine runner let's just increase the power a little bit I think it's worth persevering with the armature timing in the end, but shan't be in a hurry to do another. And I've got to stop getting sidetracked with these nice little projects because it's just stopping me working on the main layout. So I'm going to ban myself from fiddling with motors and resurrecting non-runners and try and concentrate on getting the table finished and starting work on building the layout so hopefully we'll have a nice update on that next week but in the meantime we'll probably just watch this brush go around a little bit more it's getting smoother and smoother I think I'll just slow it down fractionally it's always nice when you can hear the wheels of the rolling stock on the track not drowned out by the noise of the motor. So this loco is actually getting quieter, I'm fairly sure of it now. So after a period of running and a little bit more oil, I think we'll be realising its true potential. But there you have it, it's a converted brush type 2 with a 5 pole high torque armature and it runs absolutely beautifully. I hope this has been of some interest, maybe inspired you to have a go at doing some motor modifications yourself. 
And as I said before, hopefully next week we'll have a bit of news on the main layout. But for now, as this brush goes round the test track, I'm going to say goodbye.